So I'll be using the Nokia X5, otherwise known as Nokia 5.1 Plus, as my daily driver for like three months now. And the Microsoft Lumia 650 for just weeks. I know this is very unfair putting the Lumia 650 and my Nokia X5 in a camera comparison. But let's see if it takes better photos, daylight, and nighttime shots. First, let me talk about the camera hardware found on the Nokia X5. The Nokia X5 actually has two cameras at the back. A 13 megapixels main camera along with field detection, focus, and a 5 megapixels depth sensor. While the Lumia 650 has just a 8 megapixels main camera with autofocus. Now, over to the selfie part of things. The Nokia X5 actually has an 8 megapixels main camera, while the Lumia 650 has a 5 megapixels main camera. Now, the Nokia X5 actually does 1080p video recording on all the cameras, that is, the back camera and the front camera, while the Lumia 650 actually does just 720 pixels of video recording. During this comparison, just bear in mind that the Nokia X5 is actually a newer device. It was actually put out um, October 2018, while my Microsoft Lumia 650 was put out sometime in February 2016. So the X5 is two years older than the Lumia 650. So that is more like bonus point for the Lumia 650. Before we go into the photo samples, let me talk about this camera app a little bit. I did talk about that on the Lumia 650 extensively in my camera review of the Microsoft Lumia 650. So it's time for this big guy. The camera I'll be very familiar with what you can find in modern day smartphones today. You swipe to each side to change your shooting mode. You have square, panorama, light bokeh, pro mode, photo mode, video, slow motion, and time lapse on the Nokia X5. Then by the left hand side, you have this big switch button between the front camera and the back camera. Then towards the top, you have the first three strokes which is your setting button, then you have your goggle lens, then you have this other button for your animal G and stuff. You have your beautification mode, you have your picture-in-picture -picture mode, which allows you to take both front camera and back camera together. Then you have your timer and your flashlight. Now, let's go into the photo sample, starting off with daylight shots. Very good photos. The Nokia X5 actually sacrifices extra light for more details in the shots, which actually look very good. But the colors aren't as sharp as those found on the Lumia 650, which actually sacrifices more details for extra light in the photo. In the blind smartphone comparison, you guys actually prefer that on the Nokia X5 over that on the Lumia 650, which could be quite understandable. Though I actually prefer that on the Lumia 650 than that on the X5 in some shots, they actually look better. But bear in mind that both phones actually take really good photos. The Lumia 650 actually looks a little bit brighter while the Nokia X5 looks a little bit more detailed. You won't go wrong with any of them. Over to the nighttime shots. Sacrificing extra details for more light in the photos, and it actually pays off. It looks brighter, better, and more usable than those found on the Nokia X5. Not saying that the Nokia X5 actually takes bad photos, but it just looks better and more usable on the Lumia 650. Another thing you need to put into consideration is the weight of this device. The Lumia 650 is just 650 grams, while the 
Nokia X5 is over 180 grams. So after prolonged shooting, the Nokia X5 might actually feel heavy and you might actually get tired holding it. While the Lumia 650 is light and comfortable for prolonged shooting, but it actually warms up a bit after prolonged shooting. Now, another thing I need to say about these smartphones is that the Microsoft Lumia 650 on the zoom range actually does around like three times or four times hybrid zoom, while the Nokia X5 actually does like eight times hybrid zoom, which it's better and the final details are way better than that on the Lumia 650. I guess the main reason for that is due to the high megapixels count. Like after the whole zoom range, you still have enough megapixels to shoot than just an 8 megapixels in the camera. Now it's the final time for you to make your own sale. Which one do you think takes better for the daytime, nighttime, the Nokia X5 or the Lumia 650? Can you drop your thoughts in the comment section down below? And um, if you like the video, please click the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notified when I drop my next video. It's better to perform everything and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!